morning. We're vlogging on the go this morning because we're running a bit behind. We're meant to have left the room at 7.30 and it's like 7.40. We have to be at Magic Kingdom at 8.45, so it's tricky to know exactly how we long could you be there need. In 15 minutes, we could well, be there in an hour. it takes hour. like 20 minutes to drive there, so. Just don't want to be late because you paid a lot of money for this tour, so you don't want to miss it. So. I don't want to be those people. I don't think we're going to be able to vlog much at all today. I think the cameras and photographies are forbidden, but we'll tell you about it after if that's the case. It's pretty peaceful when you get here this early in the morning, actually. There's the castle right there. We made it here. It's eight, just about 8.30, so we're perfect time for our tour. We have to meet over there. Check in at 8.45. Check in at 8.45 at the Town Square Theater. So we're going to head over there now. There's the double-decker bus, all full of people waiting to take its first, first trip up Main Street. We've never been on that. And I was hoping that they magically pick us to be the marshals of the parade because the other day when we saw the parade, there was just two girls, like women our age, in the marshal <sighs> parade thingy. I'm not sure we would be so lucky, but we're going to go check in. Bye. Sitting here waiting for the tour to begin. Eric is excited already, as you can tell. We're waiting in Tony's Town Square Theater. We've got about five minutes to go. This is where you come in to meet Mickey and Minnie. Tink is on the left, Mickey and Minnie is on the right. We just got to lunch and everything's all set up for us. This is our food. I got a fajita butter. These little microphone things are what we're using to hear her, and it's amazing. Hi. Can you get rid of the messy bed? No. Okay, we got a little makeshift tripod situation happening here, and we're sitting very close. <laughs> so we just wanted to recap our day for you. So we did the Keys to the Kingdom tour. Do you have your, go get your name tag, anything? Ah. Oh, we showed them back. We did? Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, so it, we, our tour left at nine o'clock and we had these little name tags and we put them on and then we started walking through and she started telling us history about Walt and Roy and she pointed out the windows that are like the credits. Uh, later on we got this pin that says keys to the kingdom. <laughs> We got to go on a Jungle Cruise where she told us all kinds of interesting facts about the Jungle Cruise. And I have done a similar tour in Disneyland, so a few of the facts I already knew. But then what did we do after Jungle Cruise? Then we had lunch. <laughs> after that we went to Pico's Bills. Yeah. And had lunch. And the most exciting part was that we had, we had a sectioned off part. So when you wanted to come and go from your section, you just unhitched a thing like a cast member does. So we felt very important. This is not straight. You should see what this is sitting on right now. <laughs> not safe. Um, so then we also got to go through the exit to the Haunted Mansion. And we learned about how a few of the effects are done in the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, and then we went through like a back hallway to get into the Haunted Mansion. That was cool. Oh, before we did that, we went backstage behind Splash Mountain where they host the parade floats and sort of got to see backstage or behind the scenes, so to speak. And then the last bit we did was we went uh, underneath Magic Kingdom to see what they call the Utilidors, which is like an entire system. So cool. It's kind of like, um, it's really like the... Underground in Toronto. Yeah, like the path in Toronto. But... Magic Kingdom is actually the second floor, so the Utilidors aren't underground. Magic Kingdom is actually like elevated. So the Utilidors are like the first floor, and then the second floor is Magic Kingdom. So yeah. we got to tour all through there, see all the cast areas. and uh, They have like their own cafeteria down there. They have um, <clears throat> like where all the costumes and everything are organized and stored. Um, they have their own map system. Um, it's really, really cool. Yeah, so then the tour ended back at uh, the, the theater in, in the entryway square there, and it took five hours exactly. We were done at two o'clock. So. Yeah, it didn't seem like it was that long. No, it was. It went by pretty quickly, and the weather was good. We weren't standing in like blazing sun yeah, very it sprinkled often. a little bit, but it was like actually perfect timing because we were down where the parades were, and there's like like a little 
like what they call it the dugout so we just kind yeah. of sat in or stood in there for a few minutes while we got to passed. see a few of the performers um practicing the parade so they had part of their costumes on but they were just in like shorts and t-shirts and and they actually had a guy following along with the music he was practicing his driving and that was really cool mm -hmm. so after that we just got ourselves a little mickey ice cream mm -hmm. and walked back to the bus and we've been sitting here uh relaxing ever since watching sex in the city movie it's so good and I really enjoy our afternoons. In yeah, the, in I've been editing. Program. I've got like three or four vlogs edited at this point because once I get home, I don't have very much time. So yeah. this is the time to do it. So anyway, we're going back to California Grill tonight because we had such an amazing dinner there the other night. So we're not going to bring the camera tonight. We're going to take the night off because it's basically a duplicate of what we've done before. We might Instagram story some because we are going to see the fireworks for the last time, likely. If anyone has, if you have the opportunity to go to California Grill, and see the fireworks. They're, it's perfect. They're, it's, there's nothing better. Like there's nothing better than having a glass of wine, not amongst the people watching the fire. Now you can't see. You can see some of the um, what's it called? The stuff on the projections. Projections on the yeah. castle. Um, so if you haven't seen that before, you want to be closer so you can see it. But like the fireworks are in the sky, so it doesn't really matter. No. So anyway, we gotta go. We're gonna be late. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Eric is FaceTiming the twins because it's their 19th birthday today. Hopefully they'll answer. Let's see if anyone answers. She's answering. Uh, update. No one's answering. No one <laughs> answered. Brooklyn's getting ready and Porter's just ignoring me. He could very well still be sleeping. But I did text them this morning and... They uh, both responded very quickly, so they're both up, I know, but whatever. Can't say that I didn't try. So, update for you. Can you stand up? Mm -hmm. So, update for you. Uh, it's actually Friday morning today. Yep. Um, we last vlogged on Wednesday morning, but not very much because that's the day that we did the Keys to the Kingdom tour. So then um, Wednesday night we went back to California Grill and because it, it was something we already did before, we decided not to take the camera. Yeah, because we had the exact same meal, yeah, we had the, the exact, exact same, same wine. Everything. We had a better table yeah. this time though. Yeah, we had a better table so we could actually sit at our table and watch the fireworks. Yeah. Then yesterday morning um, was our resort day. So, and I don't know if you can tell by the sound of our voice, but Erica started to not feel like... 100% like around Monday or Tuesday she had a really sore throat yeah and then she got a cold and now I have a cold so yesterday we both just laid around and we <coughs> sorry we went out for dinner with our uncle and uh, his wife Nora and that was fun but and then afterwards we went to Disney Springs and just picked yeah, up a we few managed bits. to gather it together yeah, but we, we pulled did. it together but we basically spent all day lying in the hotel room which actually was nice yeah, it was. And it was less guilt-ridden because we didn't have a park that we needed to go to anyway, so. No. So, this morning, we're off to our last trip to Hollywood Studios. Ooh. And tonight will be our last trip to Epcot. On a Friday night. Yeah. Could be a very short trip to Epcot. <laughs> and then uh, tomorrow, we're packing up in the morning and going to Magic Kingdom late afternoon. And then we're out of here on Sunday, so. Because our lives for the last two weeks are sprawled. Yeah, this room is a Everywhere. bit of a disaster. Into this room. The, uh, I don't know whether we actually filmed the organization of the ear box, but this is where we choose our ears from every day. But I've got stuff I've bought, bags, shoes, everything everywhere. So this will take... A little bit of organizing but anyway off we go happy birthday Brooklyn and Porter like they're watching this happy they watch oh do they uh, happy, happy birthday have a drink <laughs> bye <laughs> we've just gotten to Hollywood Studios and they are testing the new gondolas yeah, Skyliner so, well it's called the Skyliner they look pretty smooth. They look pretty small. Nicole says they figure that they're going to fit about six people each in them. I'm assuming. I, that's what I heard. I'm not sure. Yeah, they go, pretty, they go pretty quick. Yeah. And this is the view of Hollywood Studios. 
on a Friday morning. A little different than the last time we were here. Well, in the morning, because that was the day that we had our uh, Toy Story special ticketed event, and we walked down this road with nobody here. And we are back in Toy Story Land. We have a fast pass for alien flying stuff. Now we're going to be attacked by bubbles. 95 minutes this morning for Slinky Dog. 95 minutes. 70 minutes for Toy Story Media. It's a busy day. Busy day. You see Star Wars. Where Star Wars will be. Restrooms. And alien flying saucers. So we went and rode flying saucers, alien flying saucers. And now we're exiting Toy Story Land. And the lineup is almost all the way out of Toy Story Land. It is 80 minutes, but that's way, way wrong. <laughs> I would say more like, what, two hours? Oh, look who we found here. Buzz. We are now in one man's dream, which is basically a museum for Walt Disney. That's not the thing that was super sad, is that Walt Disney never got to see Disney World open. There's a new land model in here for Star Wars Galaxy Edge, but unfortunately the lineup to see Mike and Sully are... Mary Poppins. <laughs> that looks like it's going to be the entrance to Star Wars Galaxy Edge, which will make this park even crazier than it already is. And like you've seen in many vlogs before, we are in. 50's Prime Dime, 50's Prime Time Cafe for our favorite lunch. Not very busy in here right now. What'd you order, Nicole? Sam for plate. Same thing we always order. What'd you order for drinks? Dad's electric lemonade. Same thing I always order. We're not feeling well. We're gonna get through this uh, lunch and go back to the room and if it was earlier in the first week or earlier in the second week, we would have mustered through. But since we only we've been to this park five times now, we don't feel like we're missing anything. We uh, just uh, timed the walk from Hollywood Studios to our bus stop at Pop Century. And it was a nine minute walk. It's a little further than it used to be because of all the Skyliner construction. So just as an FYI, if you are taking uh, Disney Resort transportation, it's about a 10 minute bus ride from Pop Century to Hollywood Studios. Then and a about a 10 minute walk to even get in the door. So just note for if you have dining reservations or a fast pass to get to. And now we wait. This is our collection of glow clubes so far this uh, trip. Each one of these costs $13 <laughs> because that's what you pay for a drink when you get one. But we look like crap. 
We are officially becoming shit vloggers. <laughs> we went out to Epcot tonight. Oh, God. And uh, we didn't even bring the camera. But we're at the point where we're doing so many of the same things over again that it just doesn't fun. seem worth it to bring the camera. So this could be like a four day in one vlog by the time I go to edit it. But today we uh, slept all afternoon. <laughs> yeah, we got home from Hollywood Studios at like 1230 or one. And then at quarter to five, Erica was like poking me with her uh, Pua doll asking me if we were going to a park. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll get up. So we went to Epcot. We ate at the Mexican quick service pavilion. That's good. And we picked up a few bits that we needed to last minute. Went on a couple rides. Living with the land. Yeah, we went on Living Nemo. with the land and Nemo. It wasn't as busy. No, it's definitely. Epcot, so it was nicer. Even though the marathon started this morning, it wasn't as bad as the other night. So. No. Anyway, we're back at the room. It's about 9 o'clock. Tomorrow Going is... Going to bed. Tomorrow is pack up day. day. And then... And then last night in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. And wee, then that's wee, it. Wee. Erica. Bye! Good morning. Still sick. Almost to the point of being glad that we're going home tomorrow. We have one last day. Uh, we're just up. It's 8 or 8.30. We're going to go down for breakfast. We're going to have a bit of a relaxing morning, and then later on this afternoon, we're going to Magic Kingdom. Relaxing? We gotta pack. Oh, not relaxing. We have to pack. Pack and relax. So this is the reality of two weeks in a hotel room. It's a mess. Today, we got the Tragical Express notification on our door. Boo. But uh, we're both, I would say, ready to go home, Nicole? Yeah. If I wasn't sick, I'd be better. We're ready to go home. It's not like we thought, like, oh my God, we couldn't do two weeks in Disney or anything like that. It's just, we're both not feeling well and it's time to go. So I'm sure we'll feel a little different when we're actually leaving and back in the world of snow. Oh. I forgot about pens. Anyway, so this is what we're doing this morning. Uh, and then tomorrow, or this afternoon, we're back in the parks. So we just got seated at Tony's, and this is our seat, and the parade's going to be coming by in like 15 or 20 minutes. Erica's very happy. Erica, cheers. this parade. So we got chicken fettuccine alfredo that we're splitting and this is a spinach dip. It comes with four little baguettes. Our table's a little bit in the sun so Erica's got her umbrella up. I'm using this pole to block the sun and I have my fan blowing on me. 
<laughs> How was your meal? It was good. Yeah, it was very nice. Yeah, and it was nice to have a glass of wine, watch the parade. It is a little bit hot, but that's okay. It is so hot. I can't even begin to explain to you how hot it is. Anyway, we finished our lunch and we raced over to get our Big Thunder Mountain Fast Pass at 4.30. And now we're taking a break. Erica just got the fan out. It's got to be 35 degrees here. Anyway, we look very shiny because it's sweat. Anyway, now we're at the Tiki Room. We've got the castle in the background. Can you see the castle? You have to put it higher. There's the castle. <laughs> we just did Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, but we're leaving for the last time right now. And we thought instead of the shiny, shitty lighting hotel room, <laughs> we'd say goodbye right now. <laughs> Even though we're very hot and sweaty. It's been an amazing two weeks. I would agree. And, uh, I would do it all over again. Yeah, and even add on three or four days. Yeah, because we just thought, get rid of this you know, cold. I thought it would have been nice if we had like a four-day Disney cruise in the middle and just avoided <laughs> President's Day weekend. So if we did it again, we might do a little four-day cruise, come back, spend another six or eight days, give or take. There's still so many things on our list of things that we wanted to do that we still didn't get to do. And things that we wanted to do, I want to do over and over and over again. Yeah, and that we didn't really get a chance to, but this cold day. is making things rough. I haven't had a cold like this and I don't know how long, years, literally years. You don't have a cold, you don't have a, I mean, you don't have a cough, you just have a stuffy nose. My ribs hurt, everything hurts. But anyways, we're not ending on a negative note. We're ending Your on a positive. Your ribs pos hurt? Yeah, from coughing. You're not bit. coughing. <laughs> You're not coughing. You're sneezing. It hurts when you sneeze. It hurts your ribs when you sneeze. And anyway. also wimps when we do get sick because we don't get sick. As, yeah. as Wendy Cook will say. I would you handle, always say that you don't get sick and you get sick once a year. I could handle a night of vomiting much easier than this okay, three don't days. Of, I'm not going to dick myself. We have one more night to go. I, I'm feeling much better today. Yeah, I'm not. But anyway. <laughs> We're going to end on a positive note. It's been an amazing trip. We love you, Disney. We love you, Disney. Wait. Now we have to go back to reality. Yeah. yeah. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.